That's the shit right there. All right, white people, I'm gonna get to the jokes. Black people don't start working when they first get to their goddamn job. Take us time, we gotta find out what the fuck going on. But I like working for white people because they take excuses. I don't feel good today, stay home, stay home. When you work for a nigga, ain't excuse good enough. My father died, mine did too, nigga. What time are you coming in? I'll let you go to the funeral, I need you this Thursday. He didn't love your ass anyway. Why are you going to the funeral? Best job I ever had was working in the cleaners. That was a good ass job. I cried like a bitch when they fired me. They fired me for weighing other people's shit. I be at the club, women like Earthquake always got something new on. I never see that nigga wearing the same outfit. Sometimes he changed clothes at the club. My boy like, let me wear that shirt. I say, I would, dog, but he come to pick it up tomorrow. Got to keep it. I'm gonna tell you who you don't want to work with. Mexicans. They make a nigga look bad at the job. They don't take no breaks or nothing. They work eight hours straight. Skip lunch and everything. I fucked around and worked with some Mexicans putting roofs up. They could put a roof up in 30 minutes. I had to get on a ladder, on the ladder, take a break, nigga. We got eight hours. What you rushing for? They just gonna give us another roof. They let my black ass go, got another Mexican. <laughs> I just got married, you gotta get married. Marriage is rough, but take your time. Yeah, marriage is like having cable with just one channel. <laughs> Same shit come on every day. Like, damn, bitch, I love you, but I wanna see another movie. You gotta hang around other married people too. I hang around my boy, he been married for six years. The nigga videotaped his wedding day, never watched it. Now and every day he watch it every day, but he watch it in reverse. Cause he said he loves seeing himself take that ring back off of that bitch finger. Walking back down that aisle, just waving at her ugly ass mother down the church. Getting back in the limo, back at the bachelor party. Look how happy I was. I ain't smiled like this since I married that bitch. I wasn't gonna get married because I got scared. I wasn't scared of the commitment, but if you're a true man, you gotta take the temperature and see what's going on in the world. And you, I got scared because of Michael Jordan, that's my dog. And when I found out he was having problems with his bitch, I said, a brother with 400 million can't keep a bitch. A brother with $100 ain't got a shot. What do these bitches really want from a nigga? Somebody let me know. I mean, how you get mad at a nigga with 400 million? You're supposed to be the happiest bitch in the whole state. You're supposed to come home every day just smiling like the Joker. <laughs> but somebody must have talked to her ass because she took her ass back home. I mean, some women must have got in her ear like, bitch, you tripping. You must not have been out here lately. The pickings are slim. You lucky if a brother buy your ass a drink. You better take your ass back on that hill. Personally, I think she went out and test the market and found what true players know. Ain't nobody fuck with her after she been with Michael Jordan. I mean, where you gonna take a woman that had 400 million at her disposal? How you gonna impress that bitch? You gonna have to take her to the moon or somewhere. You go over that big ass house, you like, well, I can help with the electric in this motherfucker. I make $300, just use it where you can. And then she got two kids. How you gonna discipline them? You they stepfather now. They ain't gonna listen to your ass. Y'all need to come in the house. Fuck you, nigga. This all our daddy shit. And how you gonna say you better than they father? You wearing this nigga tennis shoes. <laughs> you got on Hanes briefs and shit. That's the only problem I got with my sister. I love y'all to death, but y'all don't see the big picture. When you married to a man with $400 million, y'all more than just husband and wife. Y'all a corporation. White women see the big picture. White women don't leave no man with no money. You gotta kill that bitch to let go that checkbook. That bitch died with the checkbook in the casting. Mm -mm. A sister leave your ass over a phone number. That bitch, I found this number in your pocket, baby. That's the number of the piece of her. Well, you must be fucking a bitch in the counter. Pack all your shit and get the fuck on out. Pack your shit up and get the fuck out. Take this only place in which you roll these goddamn cords and get the fuck out. 
I'm glad to see we got some white people out here hanging, because that September 11th shit had their ass shook. Black people, we ain't give a fuck about it. Yeah, we cared that people killed in here, but we, we, we got over that. White people don't understand, but that September 11th had their ass shook. I knew something was wrong with the country, because white people, when the country go bad, they nice to black people. They treat us real nice. The motherfuckers were speaking. Like, how you doing, Well, How you doing? Well, how you doing? How you doing? Because you know, you try to speak to some white people, they could be real funky with your ass. You're like, how you doing? Like, mm. <laughs> Bitch, I said hi. But that September 11 ass shook their ass. I got white friends, they like, ain't you afraid of terrorists? Fuck no, I'm a nigga. I've been living with terrorists all my life. I know a brother that'll kill everybody in this motherfucker. Step on his brand new gator. Nigga, what? When you black, you party with a terrorist every weekend. You be at the club 